I posted so many videos not realizing the actual power that they had in driving traffic to my store. Hey guys, welcome back to Confessions of a Girl Boss. My name is Chrissy and I'm here to give you the confidence and tools you need to launch your online business and thrive. Today we are talking about YouTube, <laughs> this very website that you're on right now, and why I think you should definitely start a YouTube channel to help market your online store. Full disclosure, this is the second time I'm filming this video because I filmed it once before without pressing record my pregnancy brain for you. So I've been making YouTube videos for over five years now. And when I had my physical sticker business, it was a huge part of my marketing plan, honestly by mistake. But I posted so many videos during my time of having a physical sticker shop, whether it was vlogs behind the scenes in my everyday life or tutorials on how to use my products or plan with me's for how to use my products with other people's products. I posted so many videos not realizing the actual power that they had in driving traffic to my store. Not only did they have power in driving traffic to my online store, but they also gave people a better insight into who they were actually buying from. And honestly, I think it was a huge reason why people felt more comfortable shopping with me and supporting me and my family. If you are new here and you like these types of videos, be sure to hit that red button down below and subscribe so you never miss a video. I post new videos every week all about turning your passion into your business. And while you're down there, if you could give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know if you have a YouTube channel, if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, if you're nervous about it, let's talk in the comments down below. Leaving a thumbs up and a comment really helps support your favorite creators and get their content to more eyes. And if this video has you sold and you are definitely starting a YouTube channel, stay tuned to the end of this video where I'm gonna be sharing my tips on how you can get started. Let's just go ahead and jump right in to why I think you should start a YouTube channel for your online store. So my first reason why is because YouTube is literally the second biggest search engine on the internet, which is mind blowing. And I bet you don't even need two guesses as to which is the first. But think about it. If you're looking for instructions on how to make something or how to DIY something or advice on something, you more than likely go to YouTube and search it there. And while YouTube does have tons, millions of videos on its platform, Think about the competition on YouTube versus the competition on Google. If you were to rank your videos on YouTube, you'll have so much more opportunity to be found on YouTube versus being found on Google. So it's a much more lucrative search engine for you to use. Speaking of getting found on YouTube, your YouTube videos literally have no lifespan. This is so different from platforms like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, where your content literally has seconds or hours to live. YouTube videos, on the other hand, can stay popular and keep generating views for years and years and years. I have videos on my personal channel that still, after four years, generate views. Every time I get a comment on one of my old videos and I look at the analytics, I'm like, whoa, this video has pulled in a lot of views this month and it is nuts. So while YouTube might take a lot more time to create content, it has a lifespan that will be 10 times more beneficial than any Instagram picture you post. So my next reason why is that with your YouTube channel, you have the opportunity to show your products in use in different ways. So if you're in a creative business, there is a high chance that somebody will buy your products and they'll use it in a totally different way to you. But you have the opportunity on your YouTube channel to show people how you actually intended your products to be used. That doesn't mean that somebody can't use them differently, but it just gives you an opportunity to share with somebody who might not be as creative how they can use your products. If on the other hand, you run something like an online clothing boutique, your YouTube channel gives you the opportunity to show people not only how you source your clothes, how you fulfill orders and all the behind the scenes stuff, but you can also share how you would style your clothes or different ways to style your clothes. And this is just a really great great opportunity to help educate people while also bringing awareness to your brand. My next reason why is because YouTube videos can give your customers a better look into who they're actually supporting. I am a huge believer that somebody doesn't necessarily shop with your brand. They shop with you and they want to support you. And your YouTube channel gives you that opportunity to show not only who they're supporting, but also what you're like outside of your business world. So my fifth reason why is because if 
you build your channel up enough, you can make a little bit of money on the side each month through YouTube AdSense. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna be a millionaire from YouTube AdSense. It's very, very, very rare. They pay pennies, but it is a little bit extra on the side, and I mean, it never hurts. So I'm gonna be talking about this a little bit more next week. I'm actually gonna be sharing what YouTube pays me every month on my personal channel, but trust me, it is definitely worth it. If you get your videos enough views, you can make some side money from YouTube AdSense. And my last reason why is that YouTube gives you an opportunity to attract millions of people who would find your videos and shop with your store. I've seen so many people be able to leverage YouTube in a way that they're not only educating their customers, but also attracting new ones. So if this video has your wheels turning and you definitely wanna start a YouTube channel now, here are my tips for how to actually get started. So first you wanna research what's doing well for somebody who is in the same niche as you and mimic them. A lot of people will see this as copying, but honestly, if there's somebody in your niche who's doing what you're doing, more than likely you have your own spin on content that they've already created. So if it's doing really well for their channel, it's more than likely something people are searching for and interested in, so you can mimic it and put your own spin on it and attract those eyes too. Next, you want to optimize your titles and your tags for the algorithm, like Etsy, SEO plays a huge role in YouTube. So while you are researching those topic ideas that might be doing well for someone, you also want to use a platform like TubeBuddy or vidIQ to actually validate whether your idea is a good one. So these tools will actually show you how much your idea is searched for in a month. It'll show you how much competition you have in that specific idea. And they're really great at validating your topic or showing you that your topic might not be a good one. If you're listening to this and you're like, Chrissy, I just wanna post vlogs. That's really just what I wanna do. I wanna show behind the scenes of my life. That's totally fine too. Vlogs can still be optimized for the algorithm. So if you have a vlog, think about what you talk about in that vlog or what the point of that vlog is. And don't just put like daily vlog in there, but really figure out what title would work best and make it a searchable title. My third tip is to make sure your thumbnails pop and stand out. I make all of my thumbnails in Canva. You guys know I love Canva so much. I go on about them all the time, but make sure that your thumbnails stand out. Search the topic, search the video title idea that you have, and make sure that your thumbnail is not only competing with those other top thumbnails, but also popping and standing out from them. And my last tip is to share, share, share. Don't be afraid to share your content all over the internet. If somebody has a problem with you creating a YouTube channel, that is their problem and it's not something that you have to worry about. But let people know, let your customers know that you've started a YouTube channel. Let them know they can subscribe to see more, what they can expect from your YouTube channel, when they can expect new videos. Share it everywhere just like you would your products. So while YouTube might take a little bit more time to get up and running and it might take more time to learn the editing process and the filming process and getting comfortable in front of a camera, it is one of the most lucrative ways that you can spend your time to attract customers to your online store. And like anything in life, you're not gonna be great at it right off the bat. If I go back to some of my first videos, I definitely have a filming voice. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So this morning I was on the way to spinning class and I decided instead to take a little detour to Boots. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this look for you. I'm just going out for lunch with my- Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do something a little bit different. So if you guys didn't know, about two years ago now, I don't have that anymore because I've just practiced and I've gotten comfortable in front of the camera and I've learned what my style is. So don't be afraid to get started, just jump in. There's literally nothing that could go wrong. So let me know in a comment down below if you plan to start a YouTube channel now or if you already have one, what your business is that you're hoping to complement it with, and let's just chat down there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that red button or my face right here to subscribe. And if you want to keep on learning, check out those two videos to my left to do just that. So have a great day and I will see you in my next video.